Cam here from Xano Support, and today we're going to be going over a security technique we can use on multi-tenant applications to ensure that users of a particular company can see only their company's information. So in our database, we have a company, a private information, a user's, and a user's company data table. Our private information is going to be, well, what we're trying to secure. And we have a company uh, that we're using, and the company ID as a table reference. We also then have in our user's company table, we have a relationship where the records are relationships of the user and the company that they're associated with. You can see that my user is associated with company ID number one, but we can have multiple companies associated to one user. So with this structure, it allows us to do just that, give one particular user access to different companies and allows us to maintain our data. It's a little bit easier. Now that we know the structure and the way that it's built, Let's go ahead and explore how we can actually implement the security measure on our endpoints. So this is my endpoint, my company secret information, and we're just querying our private information. We're using our company ID to do that. So I can go ahead and pass in, and let me just check that I'm the right user here. I can go ahead and pass in my company ID and get a response. Or I can pass in another company ID and get a response, but I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and ensure that my information can only be seen by me and I can't see anybody else's information because if I can see other people's information, they can also see mine. So because in this project, there are more than likely going to be different endpoints that use the company ID to query, we're going to go ahead and create reusable logic that we can use within these endpoints. So I'm going to go to my functions and I'm going to add a function. We'll call this pre -op. And we'll say this checks the right user. And for a tag, we'll say security. And now what we're going to do, because this function is going to be used in an endpoint where we're already using the company ID, we're going to go ahead and just pass that company ID into this function using a table reference. Once we have that, we have to ask ourselves, well, what are we really doing? We're checking our user's company table to see if a relationship exists. And we're using the company ID to, uh, we'll provide half of that equation. We can use the signed in users auth ID to provide the other half. Let's go ahead and in our function stack, database requests, then query all records where we're going to query our user's company table. The first item in our constraints are going to be that we're looking for the company ID that matches our input. And we're also looking where that user ID column matches our user's auth ID. We'll go ahead and click save. And that's the first part. We're going to open it back up actually. And I'm going to change the output from list to exists, which is going to return a true or a false. And the next part is a utility function precondition, we're adding a precondition where what we're checking is that users underscore company underscore one equals true. If it doesn't equal true, we want to say that you need access and you don't have access as the payload. And our air type will be access denied. We'll go ahead and click save and we'll publish this. Now what we can do is we can go back to our endpoint where we can add this custom function. Our custom function of pre-auth, I'm going to drag it above my query all records so that we check the user before we make a request to the database. And we can see here that this custom function already maps the company ID. So nothing to do on our end except test it. We'll go ahead and run this and I'll make sure that I'm my user and I'll pass in ID 1. And it works. This is my information of my company that I belong to. If I pass in company two, now I don't have access because this isn't my company. I don't belong to it. So hopefully you can see here how we'd implement the security measure for your multi-tenant applications. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll include the snippet in the description. You can also get in contact with us through Xano or inside Xano through the support chat or through the community. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.